Welcome to Civcast, a civilization podcast focused on its social media platforms. Paw Print 42. Angel Ledwich. Shushu 62. Dave C. I can't believe the amount of drama there is with a bunch of guys. There's not even <laughs> women in this. It's a bunch of guys cracking me up. Uh, they act like whiny nine-year-olds sometimes. <laughs> Wait, are we talking Sith world or something else at this point? Yeah, something else. Because <laughs> I'm starting to think guys are just naturally whiny. <laughs> So, end of Civil World? The end of Civil World. Yep. Very, very sad. I found myself telling uh, people on in a game today how much I loved them. and. <laughs> 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 well, I found a good handful that uh, appreciate me for what I am. <laughs> Trouble. <laughs> How much are folks playing now? I mean, I'm finding it very hard to get back interested into it because, you know, whatever game I'm going to play in, everybody's going to be there and you're going to have to play it seriously and it's too much work. Well, I have taken a little bit of a break as I played in the last community game, I guess you would call it. And then I was on Grey Wolf's Broken Market server for... That was fun. <laughs> that, that, yeah, that was pretty strange. <laughs> but I joined the server that Angel's on tonight just for the hell of it, because I wasn't currently in a, a server. I'm planning on playing on the next couple of arranged games. I know that Gun is going to host one. I think uh, somebody else is hosting one. I think I'll probably spring for a server sometime beginning of May, probably. And uh, wasn't Robin going to do one at the end? Yes, Robin's hosting one on the last day or the day before the last day or something like that. Just play the game and there's a lot more battles going on. <laughs> Just play the game. You can't just play the game. <laughs> no. Nobody outthinks the game the way the Doug does. Uh, <laughs> Did you say overthinks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I'm just like, you know, I'll do some mazes, I'll make some troops, you know, I'll work on my mini game and And caravanner. Uh, I I will <laughs> you are, I am not, I admit it. I'm an okay caravanner. There are people that are much better caravanners. There are, but Man, we'd kill to have a caravaner like you and on our team. <laughs> Doug, Doug's pretty good at caravaning. Doug's very good, yeah. He just has to not have his keyboard go out on us. <laughs> yeah, no, that would be a shame if that's the last I play of Civ World. Team Tiger Lion was essentially asleep. We had people online. Now was the time to bury them. We had a couple of marriages to do, and it was that point in the research where you could breed your moves, and the people online knew how to breed the moves, so one finished maze would breed more moves, and we were ready to go, and everything else was cleared out. It was silence, ready to focus. My keyboard died, and <laughs> I almost threw it through the wall and decided maybe I need to take a break from the game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but just leave a message somehow. You do know how to get a hold of some of us. Because <laughs> we worry. <laughs> we do worry. Yeah, I just had to stay offline. Just leave the online world. Yes, but you have other means of getting a hold of some of us. So, because <laughs> trust me, we were spinning scenarios. Of <laughs> Going, wait, marry me, marry me. <laughs> Going, I, I'm trying to. I'm 
<laughs> I've got the ring right here, but the darn keyboard won't send it. No. <laughs> Don't make me send ravens after you. <laughs> Late, latest game that uh, I popped into, and Grey Wolf is in there, and John G and Lex, and the caravan wasn't being done, and I'm like, what kind of game are we playing here? Why hasn't <laughs> anyone done the caravan? <laughs> So I kind of just started doing the caravan. I don't know if I even won that caravan, but they didn't seem to give a hoot about it. So I guess we'll find out. In fact, I'm in the game right now. Let's see if anyone did the caravan. <laughs> Libby. I don't even know that name. Uh, she's in one of the community groups. <laughs> you can't let somebody whose name you don't recognize win the caravan. <laughs> That's just a point of honor for at this point. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have to fix this right now. <laughs> and if you can't do it, I'm going to have to join the game just to... Uh, I, might, 30 minutes. <laughs> I might have to log in now, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I got uh, into a game today, uh, and Siv, and I was asked, into the game by one player and as soon as I came in I got invited into a bunch of chat boxes of other teams in there and I, and I was like oh oh guys I, I gotta leave this chat box I'm not on your team or you're, yours or yours or yours you're the bell of the ball <laughs> I was like yeah I was like out of respect guys I don't want to back read and get in trouble and so I have to close these chats down and then I went and joined you know I think I surprised them with who I joined, but that's who asked me into the game. Whoever asked me to the prom, I should dance with him at the prom. <laughs> at least the first dance. Yeah. <laughs> I joined that game just because I had a couple open slots and I had nothing better to do. Yep, exactly. I actually had a screen where I had three open slots. That, yeah. <gasps> Whoa. Which I took a screenshot of because, of course, that's never happened to me before. <laughs> Even when you're on vacation with your mom? I didn't think you played on your vacation. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I was logging in long enough. You no, know, because the farm was still going on then. Oh. Which I'm still <laughs> sore about. <laughs> you are. <laughs> so the farm ended? Yeah. What? What? Uh, what? Did someone build the last wonder and just end it? Yeah, Carson did. Oh. So when you're talking about the farm, which farm are you talking about of Laherg Farm or this is, Grey Wolf? No, this is a game that Rommel paid for back the beginning of March of last year. Wow. As a farm server. That is the server on which we figured out how to whip the market and do the commodities crash. Oh. That is the, mar the game that we were attempting to build gigantic armies and we're going to do the Civ battle porn in, but then Rom stopped clicking and building troops, and here I was with all these troops, and he wasn't participating, and we were able to test people coming in and out through the back door in that game, because we had originally set the parameters on that server very, very tight, so when it first started, only the two of us could get in there unless you were looking for it. And then it was, you know, months after that when we figured out the information about how to backdoor into a server. And so we're able to get Jose was in there for quite a few months. Angel was in and out of there. Carson had joined it towards the end. The first time we did the commodities crash, we ended up rolling like, five econ eras without <laughs> realizing what the hell was going on because we were going to stay, you know, in the imperial era for a while so that we could get the population up. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> there was one era left and you guys were going to do the big battle. At the yeah. One. Yeah, but no such luck. It ended early. Yeah, and it ended without me knowing about it. Oh, yeah. That does kind of suck. I was thinking with that uh, server, it was going to be one of those longer than 12 hour battles. And I didn't want to participate in it at all. You know, I wanted to just sit here and watch it, eat my popcorn, and then come back and watch some more and just eat my popcorn. <laughs> it was going to be you versus Rom, right? Yeah. Yep. That would have been crazy. Yeah, I already had 32,000 modern fighters built. <laughs> Jeez. 
I had been clicking troops to build for over three months. <laughs> Man. I started before I, you know, I don't know how many times I won the Sphinx auction. Yeah, the right. auction. So I think it ended up being a total of probably six to seven million hammers. Wow. Something like that. And had SDI, of course. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wasn't going to go through all that clicking and not do it with SDI. <laughs> Yeah, no, I built like 10,000 modern fighters once in a farm game just for the hell of it. <laughs> it was just me, and I was killing barbs <laughs> with 10,000 modern fighters. Yeah, I no, I, I had so many troops that I could literally wipe out the barbarians with three <laughs> hits. <laughs> one stack for the mobile, one stack for the melee, and one stack for the range. That was, yeah. they were gone. <laughs> it It didn't even show the hitting, it just went... Boop! Zack was gone! (laughs) I'm curious to see how many players actually have Civ Bucks left. No, I don't. I've got two left. (laughs) Yeah, I'm going to check how many I have right now. Because it's been a couple of weeks since I checked, so... I've got 300 right now. I've been good. Even on the community games, I've been trying to keep my spending to a minimum. Yeah, I only would spend on the palaces and on a mini score that was worth it. The last game, the one with John Goodacre that he kind of invited me on, I was doing some weather changes. Those are useful. Yeah, so I have 700. Wow. <laughs> Sitting there going, now I have all these Civ Bucks and I only play in throwback (laughs) games and I'll never have actually really learned how to properly spend Civ Bucks. (laughs) Harvesting while you're I am. Yeah, that's, there's no, yeah, but that's history. Trivial. Harvesting while you're I am is trivial. As, as we showed in the one game against Ilya, that it's not just about harvesting while you're I am. It's harvesting one immediately after the other so that the benefits cascade. It's not doing the, any harvests until you're got two days worth of Civ Bucks in place. And then if you go, as the Ilya game pointed out, if you're using spam combined, there's just never going to be a battle. So you've got all these Civ Bucks, you're going to spend them on harvests. What are you harvesting? Well, there's really only one thing, tech. But what's the correct balance between when do you harvest your maze moves, when do you spam your maze moves, and when do you just sit in the maps? to get your maze moves and all of that. They're all interesting questions that I just don't care about anymore (laughs) because I only have a month. One of the other interesting things is with the game ending, we've got folks divulging their secrets, which that's also an interesting exercise, but then it's also, yeah, but it doesn't matter now. (laughs) Yeah, A while back I was given a secret, and when I got that secret, I was bound and determined at the time that I would never play the team that uses that secret because I don't know that I trusted them to, you know, play on the up and up after I found that out. And happily, the lurks have never, since I found this out, gone up against this team. Otherwise, I would have been quite worried. Well, and the fu- the funny thing is, I don't think there are any real secrets, you know? Mm. Somebody else told me the same secret about that team, and it's like, and I didn't bring it up either. And it's like, yeah, everybody thinks they know things that other people don't, but I think other people do. <laughs> But it really, by the secrets, I mean, I've I've always written up my thought processes. Oh, yes. But Andre doesn't tell you everything he's thinking mm. about. Even when he was telling me stuff so I could write up Nazgul stories, he wouldn't tell me everything. I find I'm really enjoying the uh, 
Chronicles group right now, just hearing stories of what people were thinking when they started playing and also getting people's thoughts when they were playing. Because a lot of folks, no, 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 I don't want anybody to know what I'm thinking because that's my competitive advantage. <laughs> and that sort of melted away. Yeah, and also seeing games from different perspectives, from the different teams that were playing the same servers, because certainly some of these games I do remember vividly, and it's very interesting to see how other people have takes on them, <laughs> or remember certain things, or remember no things that happened when, you know, I was offline or whatever, because not everything happened in global chat, certainly. world i remember when it first came out and i was reading on civ fanatics and they're just so high and mighty about no game will ever be as good as civ 4 like these mini games are stupid they're not part of civ and yet there's something magical about how those mini games actually fit in perfectly with an overall grand strategy yeah yeah i agree and, I have no idea whether the developers actually foresaw that or whether it was blind luck, but little things like I remember when they switched the caravan from uh -huh. the uh -huh. stupid, here's some free gold every hour, don't really spend much time on it, to people set their clocks so that they can come in and compete against everybody else in the game. And people like Grey Wolf would just go to games just to compete on Caravan every hour. <laughs> you know, the Actually, I hated it when they first switched. It's like, my free money, you've taken it yeah. away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's like, that's the only reason I do it. It's like, oh, okay, every 10 minutes I'd go in and I'd do the Caravan because it was free gold. But now, yeah, I, I kind of like it. Oh, son of a gun, she beat me. Dave. Log yeah. in. <laughs> I, I'm I'm working on that same caravan. It, it, it's one of these gross ones where <laughs> I think you pretty much have to use a T piece. Ooh. Is it really? Well, I, I... somewhere right now, Hannah is weeping into her pillow. <laughs> <laughs> or at least I have to. You know, maybe a better player would not need to do that. Yeah, I don't see Neil is online right now. <laughs> yeah, Neil, Alex, uh... Neil. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be able to beat him once the maps got difficult, but he obviously went to caravan school. <laughs> Sometimes it's fun just watching you guys duke it out on the caravan screen. It's like, I don't know why I'm even attempting to place pieces, but, you know, just to see the <laughs> how many people have just logged in, you know, two minutes before caravans rolling <laughs> and see, you know, how many times the name flips in the first, you know, minute of it being up. <laughs> well, I must admit, I am one of the stubborn caravan players. So I'll spend 45 minutes to win that <laughs> caravan, especially if I'm on a 10-person team and I'm the minister. I mean, that that's not insignificant gold for the team. But it, it's fun to win a caravan in 30 minutes into it because everybody starts logging in and you just go, no, no, you got to reset your alarm clock. There's another 30 <laughs> minutes to go. <laughs> no, you did not win that caravan. I know you thought you did, but you let your guard down. <laughs> uh, I think I got it. Yeah. I think I'm going to beat her 150. Yeah. 150 is winning this caravan? Yeah, That's I know. Why I it's, had it's, to do something. But like I said, it's one of these ugly ones where you have to use a T piece, I think. Yeah, no way. 150. Okay, I, I got singles. 150 does, and but that's the. Why I had to do something, Doug? I got a 131. Yeah. No, Didn't Lori prove you could win any caravan under like 110 or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Even with a T piece? I, I don't know that he proved that you can win it on a hundred and tens low. You certainly can't win any caravan under a hundred and ten. But basically 
all caravans are 107 is where you get to single pieces. And then given the width of the board, you can draw a box for less than 20, you know, just up, down, over, right. Forget about efficient pathing. So that's where there is a maximum score that you can beat, which is why the triangle piece really only comes in if you can never get to something. Because otherwise, you can just do one point, one point, one point, one point. And for a long time, that was good enough. When Webfoot and Hulk started showing up and dominating these things, just doing single points was no longer good enough. They were posting sub 100s on almost all of the complex maps. That really escalated the level of competition in caravans. I used to be able to place 110 and go, nobody else is even going to bother. It's 110. <laughs> but now, if it's 110, I'll go, ah, that can't be the winning score. <laughs> to go back. Try again. Well, you're welcome to check into the game and beat my 131. <laughs> I do. I must admit. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> The basic caravanners, I don't know how the other guys do it. Anybody who watches caravan, they can watch me do it. My score progressively works its way down to my best score. But these guys have gotten to where they're doing it on paper or something. Because <laughs> the first score they post is the last score they post. They somehow see the optimal route right away, whereas I can't do that. I have to find the right path and then optimize the pieces on the path. Sometimes when I find the best path, but I didn't put them in in the right order, and I know I didn't, I go to try to recreate the best path, and I can't do it. I can't find it. I totally mm -hmm. lost it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I find that very frustrating. <laughs> I guess it's the same reason I still get lost when I'm driving. <laughs> FYI, Dave, I'm sitting on 108. Oh, man. 108, but 108 is not the best. It's just 108 is the starting point, and then we can start optimizing down a couple of points. So. You got it at 108? Yeah. I'm not going to take his caravan. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, man. Take his caravan. <laughs> <laughs> take it. My favorite contests are the puzzle swap ones. I did not know that. <laughs> I really didn't. <laughs> Is that what's on right now? Highest no. puzzle swap value, sure enough. <laughs> yep. I only have ten swaps, so I can't get a really good score. Uh, it's just, well, you know, something really satisfying about getting a 200 or a 225. Yeah, I could set you up. No, I don't. I only have ten swaps, so I can't. Yeah. Well, if I set you up and you get each one correct... Will they get you a lot? Uh, no. Oh, okay, never mind then. <laughs> Thanks for thinking of it. Oh, yeah. yeah no Look problem. The hammer price is crazy. 772. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Must sell, sorry. Oh. Can't oh, help oh. it. <laughs> I don't get that code. Oh, man, you beat me to it. Yeah, you shouldn't have said anything them with back because <laughs> somebody sold them down to 150. Eh? <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna have to join the gold sieve and give them my gold. Yeah, hey, who's the gold sieve? <laughs> Me. I think it's okay. Spain. No. There go the hammers again. Oh, Me. those are the ringers. You you don't shouldn't help them. Making money, making money. Okay, I've made 24000 already. Don't yeah, this is what it used to be like back in the old days. <laughs> 24000 then start popping golden ages. I, I remember well, back in the old days, I would play simply by the people would come in and they'd start asking, why would anybody not join the biggest sieve? And then... <laughs> start going, why would this guy be in his own sieve? And why would he attack everybody? <laughs> and then, oh, man. You know, day and a half later, where'd all this money come from? <laughs> <laughs> Those uh, were the good old days. Those don't happen anymore. 
Too many smart people play in the game. Yep. We've all been learning. Isn't that wonderful, though? That's wonderful. <laughs> it is. Although, I remember my younger brother complaining when my father and I would play games. That he would just complain, you guys take the fun out of every game. <laughs> Because we'd figure out, <laughs> we'd play serious. <laughs> <laughs> and my brother just thought games were supposed to be fun. Oh, He didn't understand what games <laughs> were about. <laughs> he was a Cal of Doom player. <laughs> <laughs> no, my brother, <laughs> he would certainly be a source of drama in Civ World. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do my dance to talk to you fools every day. <laughs> <laughs> There's no crying in Civ World. <laughs> <laughs> you burned all the wonders. Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now this man. game will never end. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Civ Purgatory. <laughs> <laughs> so, has anyone else had that breakdown moment of depression, sadness? I, I get a little sad, you know, I'm sitting here doing these puzzles and thinking, man, I'm not going to be able to do this anymore. <laughs> I'm in the stage of um, acceptance. <laughs> I'm accepting it's over. That's why I started up with kind of heavy hardcore with the other game that I'm playing. Because I know Civ's over, and I and it's going to really hurt. You've had some very good scores recently. Yeah, I had to be in the hospital to do it. <laughs> Hopped up on goofballs, yeah. Here's a two-fort map to make you feel better. <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> the nurses kept coming in, and uh, they were like, we need your arm. And I'm like, No. <laughs> I've got barbarians. No. <laughs> and then they'd look at my um the, the meds that they had me on after I'd say stuff like that. They'd look at the meds to make sure they're giving me the right stuff. <laughs> the doctors were not thrilled. Every time they'd come in to see me, there I was with the laptop, you know, and they're like, you need to get rest. No, I can't rest right now. <laughs> I can't. No, you have to get rest. I, I'm resting. I'm not moving. I'll sleep in June. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm glad we have the community we have set up for us to all go to and talk to. Well, right. Yeah. We still have all the John Goodacre groups. If anything, since they've announced the end of the game, I think I've got more Civ groups than I've ever had at any point in time. It's like, how yeah. is this happening? I keep leaving stuff and three more appear. Uh, there are more Civ World groups than there are players these days. <laughs> But I'm curious how long some of these groups are going to stay alive after the game's gone. I think some group somewhere is going to stay alive just so folks can stay in touch. But, you know, how long do the groups stay alive if the conversations aren't still occurring? In one of the groups, there was a poll up of what should we play next? And I guess one of the criteria is now, is Angel playing it as well? <laughs> <laughs> is that... Because they would stay away? No, because they wanted you playing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember whether Rob added that as the criteria or whether Lex did. But it was Lex or John or one of them. And are there other games out there where you have this, you know, sort of tight knit interaction? I mean, all the other games I've seen, it's you know, there's a little bit of interacting with other players, but not that much. I don't know where you're actually sort of working together. Okay, guys, we have memories. Mm. You guys feel good about tonight? Um, sure. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good night, y'all. Night. I love night. you very much. <laughs> I love you all. <laughs> <laughs> Record date, April 4th, 2013. Civilization World Sound Clips Copyright Take Two Interactive. Copyright Civilized Communication at Civcom.net. <laughs>